This is Moose Drool. She's a stunning ship. She's 70 feet long. She's a wide beam, 12 and a half feet wide, built in 2005 by Colcraft and fitted out by DB Boats of Braunston. She's had one owner since new. She's been very well looked after. She's named after an American beer, by the way. The, the owners found a draft beer in Alaska called Moose Drool and were so pleased with it, they called the boat that. Three storage boxes on the top. There are three Houdini hatches at in the roof actually, they've got storm covers over. Paintwork's in nice condition. Four feet long those windows you can see there. Huge windows, they're tilting, they're all double glazed actually, the windows on this boat. There's a 4G internet area on the roof there, I've just passed. Very good condition, pram, good condition pram hood, that was new in 2018. <clears throat> that covers this huge stern deck. There's the rear view. Quite a ship, she's a floating Bungalow, really. Enormous amount of space for a liverboard. There's the new star of the show. That's Bumble, my new assistant. And onto the rear deck. <clears throat> Seven feet long, this rear deck. Huge area. You can have tables and chairs out here. The summer dining. The engine's in here. That's a generator at the bottom of the screen. 11 kVA generator, cocooned with a hospital silencer. And there is the beta engine, 90 horsepower. That's also cocooned with a hospital silencer. Hot water tank there. Batteries top left. And both engine and generator have been serviced every six months since the boat was launched. So they're super looked after. She's not done much cruising at all, this boat. So the engine hours are not recorded, but they won't be high at all. Very convenient fold-up windscreen through the, through the pram hood. There's the Moors control. She has a bow thruster, a 75 kV, kgf Vetus. The controls are on there. And there's just an idea of the space on the back deck here. So down we go. She's fitted out an oak face ply. The flooring is all Candine. And there's an entrance lobby at the back here. Little bench seat there. Cupboards underneath. There's a lot of storage on this boat. You'll see as we go through. It's quite a good seat for getting off muddy wellies and things. Various electrics in here. In here's all the fuse panels. There's the inverter at the bottom. That's a two and a half kilowatt Victron inverter charger. So 230 volts. You won't be short on this boat. It's gas free, this boat, actually, I should mention. Hence the 11 kVA generator. Drying machine sits over the washing machine here. The drying machine's gone, but there's power and space for one. Storage in all of these steps. Plenty of room to put your navigation equipment and bits and pieces. And in here's the first of two bathrooms. The lovely room, seven feet long. The loo is a Thetford Porter Potty Excellence, uh, sorry, Porter Potty Excellence. There used to be a, a vacuum flush loo there, that's reinstatable, sort of type of pump out. These blinds are amazing, they're all built by S Craft, the shutters on this boat, cost a fortune. There's a shower in here with an extractor light over. The basin in here is ceramic, by the way. And onwards we go. There's a good sized floor to ceiling cupboard here. And next to that is another wardrobe, cupboard for hooves and ironing boards and things. The electrics are there, that starts the generator. Very useful space. And into the saloon, it's vast. It's 17 feet long, this room. Completely open plan. Plenty of room in here for sofas, dining tables, dining chairs. There's Bumble. There's a solid fuel stove there. It's a clear view. I think it's about 7 kilowatt, but I'm guessing. And here are the blinds I mentioned. They're absolutely fabulous. They easily close, easily open. And they do fold back. And just hook against the cabin sides there. Huge windows these are. Four feet wide. And they tilt forward, actually, to open. And I think I mentioned they're all double glazed. Two Houdini hatches. I've got a slot in a demonstration here of the blackout blinds. They've all got these. Keep the sunlight out and prying eyes.
two radiators in here. The central heating on board is an Eberspacher diesel-fired central heating system. It goes to four radiators and two towel rails. Nicely concealed behind the woodwork there. There's undergunnel lighting along both sides in the saloon here. Multicoloured and multifunctional, that sort of thing. I forgot to put this in, but I slotted it in. There's a massive cupboard under the worktops here. You can put a few small children or the dog in there, actually. So that's another look back down the saloon. It's, it's huge. Absolutely enormous living space. It's lovely. The galley itself is 7 feet 2 inches long. There's a 230 volt fridge here. It's integrated. There used to be a dishwasher, a slimline dishwasher in this kitchen. It's, it's been taken out because they never used it, but plumbing's still there if that's what you want. The microwave used to fit in there. You can see the plug. Extractor fan and light over. Electric hob, powered by the generator, as I've mentioned. Electric oven and grill. Cupboards all the way along this bulkhead. The worktops in here are Corian. Feels really lovely this kitchen, no expense spared. And cupboards effectively under the rest of the L-shaped worktops in this kitchen. The sink is here. And this cupboard goes really deep. So it's a huge kitchen, loads of storage space, all the appliances that you need. Bigger than many kitchens people have got at home, to be honest. Head height in the boat's generous, 6 feet 5 inches. All the lighting is LED and there's plenty of them, I can tell you. I've counted 48 of the ceiling lights. Down a corridor here on the port side. The floor to ceiling cupboard here. That's illuminated as the light goes on when you open the door. Actually, it's not to the floor because the pump-out tank's under these cupboards. And then there are two wardrobes next to that. You've got so many wardrobes actually, there's one in the first room you went into, the lobby, two there and two in the bedroom. This is the bedroom, another Houdini hatch over. The bedroom itself again is very large, 14 feet long. Double wardrobes either side of the steps there with mirrors on. All these lovely shutters, the door itself is shuttered as well. You can put a king size bed in here, go as big as you want with the bed. And here's the ensuite bathroom. It's an illuminated mirror at the end. It's all a bit misted up today because it's cold. Ceramic sink, the roll top bath, that's lovely. Heated towel rail behind that. And there's the loo, that's a macerated pump out, electric flush. Pump out tanks 400 litres, 450 litres actually, I think. The cooker, I should mention, is brand new. The electric cooker, that's never been used. I forgot to show you the second wardrobe, actually. So here we go. Slot this one in. Massive. And there's the charge of the bow thruster batteries. That's a Victron charger. Another look at this, or a look at this wardrobe. Shelves underneath for shoes and things, I guess. So yeah, more room than you can shake a stick out on this boat. But then again, it's 70 feet, I guess you'd expect it. Lovely stable doors. The back doors are glazed as well with lead in them as well. Lovely. Well decked four feet long. Bench seats either side with storage underneath and this forward locker. It's normally the gas locker, but of course she's gas free, so it's just storage. In there's an emergency pump out kit and various bits of navigation equipment. These curtains keep blowing back. There we go. So back through the boat we go. She was last blacked in 2018, so she is due that, but that's been factored into the price. There's eight anodes on her, two of which were new in 2018. I think I mentioned the engine's been serviced, as has the generator, every six months. Water tank's huge on this boat. Or oh, some interesting storage all along here, look. They lift up. Water tank's 1,000 litres with twin water pumps, a good pressure or 
emergency one if you need. Hot water's heated by the engine, the Eberspac, or there is an immersion heater on board when you're plugged into the landline. Big bank of domestic batteries, six gel batteries. There's also another one for the starter at the motor and the uh, two for the bow thruster. Side hatch there I didn't mention earlier. She's in very nice condition. Absolutely lovely boat. So much room in her. There we go. There's an extensive gallery of photographs on our website, a fully downloadable colour brochure and the price as well. And I haven't mentioned she's got a security camera system which is remote so you can look at it on your phone. It's a Swan 4 camera security system. So there we go, a lovely boat, Moose Drool. For further photographs go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk